Welcome back everybody. We are going to finish up our cute little monkey today. We are going to be talking specifically about gradients. So we have already talked about fills. We've already just done a bunch of strokes, especially dealing with our appearance. And so what we want to do is just kind of add on some real subtle little gradients. And this is how we're going to do it. So let's just grab all of our pinks. These are all going to be pretty similar. If I want to zoom in, just so you can see what we're doing, is I'm just gonna add this directly onto the shape. So I'm not gonna duplicate anything. I'm not doing anything with transparency. We are just gonna talk real easy gradients today. So I wanna just select our gradient and I wanna do a linear gradient and it's gonna get pretty ugly pretty quick here. So it's gonna, and what I want is a linear gradient. I want this to go into the negative 90. So I want it to go bottom up. And now let's make sure we have the right colors that drives me bonkers, so I know it drives you bonkers as well. So let's go dark. Oh, let's go dark right there. So I'm just double clicking on each one of those little little dots on the, the slider, and then I can come in, and then I can color those up. So let's go light pink, let's do dark pink. Now if you get an extra little one, all you need to do is just drag it off. So if you, oops, and I didn't actually hit this, a lot of times you'll get a little extra you can just drag that right on off. So everything is still selected by the way. And now I'm just looking at how far over do I want everything. So I can adjust where my lights and my darks are gonna hit. So let's just say this guy, my location, let's just say that's gonna go 33%. That looks pretty good to me. Now all of this, just so you're aware, you can adjust in our gradient tool. So there is a gradient tool as well. A lot of this can be modified on the tool itself. So notice that our direction I can change. I can change the slider. A lot of the times this is gonna be a little bit user friendly. This one's a little bit more, a little finicky. I will definitely be honest with you, but it, it all will be correlating back and forth. So I can change the direction. I can change the opacity. I can change the size of things once we start getting into our radial gradients, but that's all happening right there. So let's do this. I think our ears look pretty good. I am gonna click on my black arrow. Let's just see if there's anything else I want to do on this layer. Let's grab our mouth. I am gonna double check that my fill is in the front. So if for some odd reason your stroke is in the front, your gradient is gonna fill in. So I'm gonna grab that first. I want this one to be a radial gradient. So I'm just gonna double click on each one of those. So let's just go, oh, let's go light first. Where do I want my dark to go is basically the question. Dark, let's just double click. Let's have that one go light. And let's just take this slider and I want this one to go right around that 50 and then we can always adjust it. We're just getting in practice by the way. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna take our little circle in the middle and it's gonna blend it out a little bit. Let's just see if we can even go a little bit farther with it. All right, I say 55 will probably do us justice. Click on return. Oh, let's do two more, two more. So I'm gonna lock the guy out. This layer is officially done. Eyeballs are done. Let's come into this background shape. So I'm gonna select it. Let's just come back over. Again, I'm double checking that my fill is in the front. Let's just grab that. And I actually think I want to switch these two on this one. So I'm gonna pull that one back out. I am gonna double click on it. Let's do our light one for that. Let's do our dark for that one. All right, so let's take our dark. Let's put that one right at 75. Let's take this one and put it right at 33. We're just getting fancy today. And what I'm looking for is I want a little bit of a highlight in that forehead. And then notice how this stuff starts blended in. I kind of like that. So that's how we're going to deal with that. I think that one's good. Let's lock that guy out. Let's add on one of the face. Again, let's come over to our gradient panel. I'm double checking first so I don't cover up in that stroke. I'm going to click it. Let's go radial. Let's color these bad boys up right away so you guys don't yell at me. Let's go nice and light. 
And again, notice the repetition. We just want to get some practice in. Now for this one, I think I want this one to be pretty dark all the way over. Let's just double check this. So I'm going to double check. That one is pretty good. All right, that looks good. So I'm going to actually come back over. I'm going to lock that guy out. I'm going to come back into our face shape. I think that outside edge, I think I want that outside edge to now be white because we're going to add on a little bit of a background and we're going to call it a day. We are then done with our cute little monkey. So I'm going to go control zero. There is that background still. So let's go into our layers. I can hide my anchor point guide. I didn't even know it was still on. That was pretty funny. So I can go new layer. Let's just double check that there's a layer below everything. I'm just going to call this one background and I'm going to zoom out again. And that is just so when we come up with our video thumbnails that we can see everything. And I'm looking for a blue dot in the forehead. Control zero. So I still like the gradient on that background. I think it's a little bit dark. So let's change up the colors a tiny bit. So I'm just switching these out. Let's just play around with some colors. So for this one, I think I am just gonna kind of leave this one alone. Let's just do, pull that one out. I want a nice subtle little gradient happening on the background. All right, that one is good. So I'm gonna just go file save. Let's just save the Illustrator document. What we're actually gonna do on the next tutorial is focusing on saving and not only saving, but exporting. And then we're gonna finish this little guy up. So I will see you on the next tutorial.